Hi, my name is Joe Benjamin, and I'm here with Rama Fox from WhoMentors.com talking about his organization and the sneaker craze. Thank you for having me, Joe. Well, you want to know who I am. My name is Rommel Fox, and I'm the CEO of WhoMentors.com Incorporated. It's a nonprofit public benefit organization that received tax exempt status by the Internal Revenue Service. So what is the purpose of WhoMentors.com? That's a good question. Most people don't know what the purpose of the organization is because the question is who mentors. I provide a broad range of services for individuals and families and the question who is designed to answer particularly who I am and what I do so that you can find out that there are mentors available, accessible, uh, 24 hours a day. Can you tell me what really is this sneaker obsession? Well, sneaker obsession is hard to define, but because it's an impulse that you see a sneaker or someone mentions that a new shoe is coming out, and it's an impulse that you can't control, and the idea that you have to have it. So it's the idea that it's not just buying the shoe, it's researching it, it's finding out what's coming out, and then the effort, the sacrifice, how much... Uh, money you spend on the shoe and, and the whole experience, the whole adventure. So it's not just going to the store and buying a shoe. It's the impulse of I have to have it at, you know, at, at, at any cost. So that is the best way to define a sneaker obsession. Can you define in your own terms what is this sneaker obsession and what are the major influences behind this phenomenon? Sure. Defining it in my own terms it's a must-have that it's not just having a shoe it's having particular brands that Nike comes out with a shoe or Reebok comes out with a shoe and I have to get it before anybody else does and then the influences behind that are music uh, then you combine that with sports and then you combine that with the lifestyle of a particular icon you have 50 Cent with the G Unit series and you have the S Carter series which is Jay-Z uh, and then of course the key thing you need is a medium these people have access to television and radio and other opportunities to speak to kids so they have an unfiltered voice and unfortunately no one can challenge that so that is the, what influences the phenomenon. What are kids willing to do or how far will they go to get their shoes? Good question. What they're willing to do is just about anything. It's not just a matter of getting an after-school job, going to the store, and buying the shoes. These kids will cut class. They will, in class, will go on the internet and research the latest shoes. And then they will stay out all night to wait in line for a shoe that will be released in the morning. And then, of course, there's the extreme end for kids who have no remorse. Uh, they're willing to attack someone. They're willing to hurt someone and, in, in some cases, actually kill for the shoes. So we're just talking about shoes here. Um, why should we even be concerned with this issue? Well, now just talking about shoes as if it's you know something you just stick in your closet. To these kids, this is more than just an accessory. It's def a definition of their identity. This is their identity. This is what they relate to. No shoes, no identity. Uh, imagine a kid sitting on the bench playing basketball, and you well, you approach that kid and you say, "Look, if you're not going to use the shoes, let me take them from you. Let someone else use them." And the kid just gets upset. No, if you take the shoes from me, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm about. So it's not just about shoes. This is the respect, it's identity. And it's important to understand what's going on because th there are kids out there willing to do anything for it. And if we aren't conscious of what these kids are willing to do, you walk down the street wearing a pair of shoes that are highly prized and then, of course, find yourself a victim. So how is WhoMentors.com addressing this sneaker issue? Well, our strategy is very clear. I raise money to buy and distribute Skills.com branded athletic footwear for kids that are abandoned, homeless, orphaned, or come from low-income families. The issue is the price point. Nike introduces a shoe at $150. The kids value that and think it's important. But then if you introduce a shoe at $15, which is what someone's doing, Stephon Marbury, well, then the kids think the shoe's cheap. So my strategy is to raise money, buy the shoes, and give them away for free. So the only way you can get my shoes, the status, is you have to be a mentor or a kid with a dream. Can't buy them.